everyone, this is Samantha at Scrapmaster's Paradise. Um, my blog address is thescrapmaster.blogspot.com, so come check me out. Um, today I want to show you a little tutorial video using the stamp -a jig And now people don't know how to use the stamp -a jig they don't know what it is, but it will make your life so much easier when you're stamping. So let me show you. It's got this plastic little sheet and this little corner thing. That's what comes with the stamp -a jig These are the two pieces, and it looks like, what are you going to do with it? So I'm going to show you. Handed. And so my guide is going to be a little bit backwards from what most people are going to be doing. If you're a right-handed person, you'll do opposite of what I'm doing. So let me show you. So I've got some soft suede classic ink, and I've got a Melon Mambo classic ink pad. And this stamp set is called Season of Friendship, and it's one of my favorite ones. We're going to use this one. And what's neat about this stamp set is it comes with everything as far as accessories go. You can see these little stamps. Oops. You can see them all. So these all coordinate with this tree, but if you don't have a stamp -a jig you can't place them exactly where you want them. So I'm going to show you how to use the stamp -a jig to get your images exactly where you want them. So we're going to start by stamping our tree. And I already cut my paper down. Um, let's see. I think it's 3.75 on this side by 5 inches on this side. So I can put a little border around it and make a full size card. So for my tree, I'd like to stamp my tree perfectly. So I'm going to use the stamp on the jig for my tree, too. So, when I ink up my stamps, I always dab like this. Dab different places until I get it pretty coated. All right. And then, you put your little plastic sheet in the corner of your stamp on the jig, straight down. You're going to take your stamp and put it straight in that same exact corner and stamp straight down. So now you can see there's the tree on my little clear sheet. So then, from there you can see that you can line it up however you want it on your paper. I'm going to set my paper down, put my tree down exactly where I want it, and then I'm going to stick this piece of the stamp in my jig back exactly in that plastic corner and then remove the sheet. So now when I stamp straight down, I'll have my image exactly where I want it. Let me ink up my stamp again. Okay, and then I'm going to stick my stamp in that corner and go straight down with it. I got my tree exactly in the middle where I wanted it. Okay. I've got pink on my hands. I don't know where the pink came from. Oh, I've got pink ink on me. So for the next step part, I'm going to stamp these little flowers all over my little tree. And I want the flowers to be on each end of these branches. So I need to wipe off my stamp of a jig so I can reuse it. I always just have a little washcloth. Wipe it all clean. Okay. Then I'm going to repeat the same process to get the image on this plastic sheet. Stick the plastic sheet in the corner. Ink up my stamp. Go straight down in the corner. And now my little flower is on my plastic sheet, so now I can put it where I want it. And I'm going to put my little flowers on the tips of each of these branches. Okay, so I stuck the plastic sheet exactly where I want it, and I line it up with the corner, remove the plastic sheet, ink up your stamp really good, and your stamp goes straight down in the corner. See? I got my flower exactly where I wanted it. So I'm going to do a couple more and just show you, and see that I have the image already there. I just use the same image, line it up how I want it. And I'm used to using the stamp on my jig. I use it for 
pretty much every card that I make. It's just a really simple process. And it's good when you're repeating a bunch of things too, because you could just have the stamped image already on your sheet. And I'm just going around the rest of my tree. Alright, so my tutorial is for left-handed people. And so if you're going to do this and you're a right-handed person, you do the same thing except in the opposite corner of this part of the stamp from the jig. So if I was right-handed, let's see, I would hold this piece in my right hand, or my left hand, hold the stamp in your dominant hand, your right hand, and then line up everything in this corner. And I can't do it. I'm <laughs> I'm very left-handed. I'm going to practice here. I'll hold my stamp and then go straight down in that corner. And then you would use this corner of your stamp on the jig. Oh, that's what's cool about it. So, left-handed people, right-handed people.